Hey everyone, welcome back to Search Pulse. When it comes to trains, nothing excites me more than Shinkansen. The word Shinkansen translates to new main line train, but it was a revolutionary change in the field of rail transportation. There were several reasons why the Shinkansen is so special. It was world's first high-speed train which opened for commercial operations. It was world's first electric multiple unit train. It was indigenously developed in Japan, a country which was completely decimated in World War II. The Shinkansen trains first entered the service of Japan Rail in 1964. This train was a deviant from the older trains operating in 1500-volt DC system on narrow gauge and the new Shinkansen trains operated on 25,000 volts AC system on standard gauge. The primary objective of Shinkansen was to connect Japan's capital city, Tokyo, with the distant regions of the country. Since its launch, many versions of Shinkansen trains have been released. So today, we will explore how the Shinkansen trains have evolved over a period. This is completely an engineering perspective of looking at Shinkansen. So please stay till the end of the video. The first Shinkansen trains entered service in 1964. This train had a special significance since the timing of its launch matched with the timing of Tokyo Olympics of 1964, which was a major sporting event for Japan who needed a major revamp in terms of international perception about the country after the Second World War. This first generation Shinkansen locomotive were designed with 16 car formation with all cars being powered. It had a maximum operating speed of 220 km per hour. This locomotive was withdrawn from service in December 2008. The second generation, otherwise known as the Series 100 Shinkansen trains, entered service in 1985. This was the first time aluminium car body was introduced in Shinkansen. Prior to the Series 100, it was stainless steel car body. The locomotive featured bellable car compartment and a restaurant car compartment. This locomotive was also a 16 car formation design, but unlike its predecessor, not all cars were powered, but rather the front and the rear cars were powered. From this locomotive, the retractable coupler was introduced to join two locomotives for handling higher passenger capacity. It had a maximum operating speed of 230 km per hour later used only on Sanyo Shinkansen Kodama services. This locomotive was withdrawn from service in March 2012. The Series 200 Shinkansen entered the service in June 1982. The 200 Series Shinkansen trains resembled the first generation Shinkansen trains in styling but were lighter and more powerful since they were designed to operate in tracks with high gradients. Like its predecessor, these locomotives were also designed with DC motor and series DT200 bogies, which were designed considering the need to prevent wheel set and bogies from hunting dangerously and the need to prevent failure or other damages in important parts like bogie frames, wheel, axle, axle bearings and springs. These locomotives could achieve a maximum speed of 245 km per hour and continued to be on service till 2013. Please note that although the Series 100 Shinkansen project started earlier than Series 200, but the launch was delayed due to extensive testing. The Series 300 Shinkansen entered service in 1992. The front-end styling of these units consisted of curved wedge replacing the aircraft-style nose cone of previous Shinkansen trains. They are notable for being the first Shinkansen sets to employ three-phase AC traction motor instead of direct current units as well as new bolsterless bogies to reduce weight. The converter inverter unit was GTO thyristor based circuit. As we already know that with AC motor, the reliability of the locomotives increases due to the lower maintenance requirement of AC motors as well as the power to weight ratio greatly increases. The series 300 Shinkansen had the maximum operating speed of 270 km per hour. This locomotive was withdrawn in March 2012. The Series E1 Shinkansen entered service in 1994. They were the first double-deck trains built for Japan Shinkansen. Like its previous generation of locomotives, the E1 locomotive employed three-phase AC motor with each car being self-propelled bolsterless bogies. The converter-inverter unit was same GTO thyristor-based circuit. 
But the difference being, it was a 12-car train with double deck specifically introduced to relieve high passenger volume of Tohoku Shinkansen and Joetsu Shinkansen services. This locomotive had the maximum operating speed of 240 km per hour. This train was withdrawn from service in September 2012. Like E1 series, the E2 series Shinkansen had similar design which entered the service in 1997. But unlike E1 series, the E2 series was single deck locomotive which came in 8 car or 10 car formation. The 10 car sets can be coupled to another train set using couplers hidden behind the retracting nose doors. They operate at the maximum speed of 275 km per hour. A special design of Shinkansen, the E3 series, was released in 1997, which was designed in a manner to operate in the lines converted from narrow gauge to standard gauge. This locomotive falls into mini Shinkansen locomotive. The difference between this locomotive with respect to the mainline Shinkansen is, the trains were built to a smaller loading gauge than mainline Shinkansen trains. The width and length of each car is reduced to fit on a narrower clearances of the mini Shinkansen. The doorway step fold out to bridge the gap between the narrow body and the platform at regular Shinkansen stations. This locomotive was a 6 or 7 car formation. They can operate at a maximum speed of 275 km per hour, but while running on the mini Shinkansen line, they operate at 130 km per hour. The E4 series Shinkansen entered service in 1997, which was also a double deck locomotive similar to E1 series. But unlike E1, which is a 12-car formation, the E4 was a 8-car formation. But two 8-car sets can be coupled together for extra capacity. Another important difference between E1 and E4 is the converter-inverter system in E4 was an intelligent power module-based inverter. The advantage in IPM-based inverter are improved thermal reliability due to the integration of components, higher efficiency in converting DC to AC power, and better thermal performance. This locomotive had a maximum operating speed of 240 km per hour. This train was withdrawn from service in September 2021. The Series 500 Shinkansen was introduced in 1997. This locomotive used 5-pole motor compared to previous generation of Series 300 Shinkansen which used 3-pole motor. This change improved the reliability of motor by having smoother operations at lower speed, reduced cogging and improved torque characteristics. The converter-inverter unit was same GTO thyristor-based circuit. The running gear utilizes computer-controlled active suspension for a smoother, safer ride and yaw dampers are fitted between the cars for improved stability. All 16 cars in each original train set were powered due to which it was able to achieve maximum operating speed of 300 km per hour. Since 2008, sets have been shortened from 16 to 8 car for use on Sanyo Shinkansen Kodama services. The Series 700 Shinkansen was introduced in 1999. This new train had features such as yaw dampers fitted between vehicles and all cars feature semi-active suspension to ensure smooth ride characteristics at high speed. The unique duckbill nose design gave the unique advantage of reducing noise while entering and exiting tunnels. This locomotive used 4-pole AC motor. The converter-inverter circuit used in Series 700 Shinkansen had IGBT-based circuit. Thus, this locomotive was able to achieve maximum operating speed of 285 km per hour. The JR Central owned units were withdrawn in March 2020, with the JR West owned units continued to operate on the Sanyo Shinkansen line between Shin Osaka and Hakata. The series N700 Shinkansen is in service since 2007. This new train introduced a variety of new features such as active tilting system with automatic train control providing better stability at higher speed, hybrid drive system to save energy, regenerative braking to make locomotives efficient as well as reduced stress on disc brakes. Here the train designers continued the duckbill nose design. N700 series gradually replaced 300, 500 and 700 series train sets. Since 2009, the N700 series have been equipped with wireless internet. In 2013, a new variant N700A trains were introduced which included modified brake discs, bogey vibration detection, 
and automatic train control improvements. In 2020, the N700S trains were introduced with improved bogey design to reduce noise, longer nose cone for reducing noise, better traction system, 6-pole induction motor, incorporation of sound absorption material and improved braking performance. This locomotive was able to achieve maximum operating speed of 300 km per hour. The E5 series Shinkansen is a 10-car train set in service since March 2011. Technology incorporated in these trains is derived from the experimental Fastec 360 train. The Fastec 360 train is based on the Series 500 Shinkansen but has more streamlined profile. One of the major source of noise is the current collection at high speed by the pantographs. The Fastec 360 addresses the issue of current collection at high speed. Another significant improvement was the system which brings the locomotive to halt in situation of earthquake. The locomotives employed aerodynamic braking from the special projections to open up in case of emergencies. This is over and above the conventional braking. The front profile was more pointed contrast to N700 series. Another variant of E5 is the H5 locomotive which is designed to operate in more colder climate. The add-on in H5 series are it includes an upgraded snow plow on the lead unit durable rubber to protect various connections between the cars and a stainless steel underframe to protect the electronics and the interiors it has snowflakes marking on the window. The locomotive can achieve a maximum speed of 320 km per hour. The E7 series Shinkansen is a 12 car train formation introduced in March 2014. This locomotive is designed considering a lot about passenger comfort by achieving maximum usable space inside the locomotive and energy efficient systems inside the passenger car. Here 10 intermediate cars are motorized and the trailer cars are non-powered. Although it is not explicitly stated anywhere, but since the E7 Shinkansen is designed for regions with heavy snowfall, it is important not to have the front car as power car. This is because the car plowing needs to be pushed by the power car and the snow thrown from the tracks might get into the rolling stock thus causing problems in the locomotive movement. This locomotive is also designed to operate at 3% gradient. Another variant of E7 is the W7, which is identical in all terms, barring the manufacturing company making the train set. This locomotive can achieve a maximum speed of 260 km per hour. The latest in the class of Shinkansen is the Alpha X locomotive, which is currently under the stage of prototype testing. The class E956 branded as Alpha X is a 10-car experimental Shinkansen train operated by JR East to test technology to be incorporated into the future trains operating at a speed of up to 360 km per hour. The name is the acronym for Advanced Lab for Frontline Activity in Rail Experimentation. The first train was unveiled on 9th May 2019. Its test run is mainly performed in the section between Sendai and Shinamori of the Tohoku Shinkansen line and in some cases on the Hokkaido Shinkansen line. The improvement of Alpha X is done considering passenger comfort and safety. The first improvement being two different end car nose profile. The nose of car 1 is 16 meter long similar to fast tech while the nose of car 10 is 22 meter long, similar to E5 and H5 series Shinkansen. The different nose profile on car 1 and car 10 were designed to compare air resistance and impact noise caused by the pressure waves when the train enters and exits tunnel. Each passenger car prototype has different window shape to test wind resistance for each type of design. The second improvement include a new type of damper to reduce vibration and the likelihood of derailment in major earthquakes. Japan experiences a high level of snowfall, so the third improvement is with respect to the test body design that reduces snow adherence. The fourth feature is with respect to the braking system. Both eddy current brakes and aerodynamic braking system is attached to the car's roof called air brakes or spoilers. The fifth feature being Two different types of pantographs are also being evaluated on the train to test for the noise and wind resistance. So there you have it, the fascinating evolution of legendary Shinkansen from humble beginnings to a marvel of modern engineering. It's a testament to innovation. If you have enjoyed learning about the journey of the bullet train, make sure to hit the like button 
and subscribe for more incredible stories from the world of travel and technology. Thanks a lot.